Hey guys, this is the Creed, and welcome back in the next episode of New Woodshire. We are playing Farming Simulator 19 again. And in the previous episodes, we had our horses done, our sheep done. We made sure that field 2 is uh, ready for having its harvest in the next few hours on the field, or probably by tomorrow. And today, in this episode, we are going to look at our pigs. Um, we just had a look at the food which it needs. And we need to make sure that we have either corn, wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, potatoes and sugar beets. And that's actually quite a lot to do. So today we are going to have a look into that. And we will try to make sure that we can sort it out and make sure that we can keep up what they need over the course of yeah, the series. So, as you can see now, I will be buying pigs. I think we will be buying 25 of each. Yeah, that seems to be a good amount. Um, we started this episode with uh, 351k. So, if you buy 25 pink, 25 white, 25 black and white and 25 black that will cost us about 37.5k for each so in total it will be um, let me think about 160k 150k something like that including transport fee okay so let me sort this out now Yep, yeah, so 161k. Look at those pigs, those are good. So, we need to make sure that they are cleaned often, we need water straw, and then all the food mentioned before, and apparently they are divided in different categories. Corn effectiveness 50%, wheat and barley 25, soybeans, canola, sunflowers 20, and potatoes and sugar beet 5. Well, potatoes and sugar beet might be the most difficult because we don't have the equipment yet. It will take quite a while before we actually start with it. Okay, so I just bought the field 1 as well, which brings us down to 75k. Uh, currently we have wheat on the field, so we will go over with the harvester and we will start So back to our pigs. Um, what we need to do is clean them often. We need to make sure that uh, their production rate is kept up high. And this can be done by cleaning them, of course. So in the next few in-game days, we will have to sort out some front loader and a bucket so that we can make sure, of course, they stay clean. What we also need to do is water. We already have a trailer for that, so that's really good. We will get straw from this field, which is also a good thing. I'm not entirely sure if we have cross or straw in the trailer or the loading wagon. I think we have some cross in there. We need to check later on. Apart from that, we also need to check our silo to see which... Um, corn and, and how much wheat and barley and such we still have available. Um, the harvest is 0% fertilized, that's too bad. And this one is still growing, also 0% unfortunately. Okay, so let's continue the harvest of this field. I will make it a very sm small time lapse and I will get back to you once this is done.
and here we are again the field is now completely harvested which is really good so maybe you saw it in the time lapse we did have to get the trailer next uh, to make sure that we could empty our combine because the harvest was a bit more than a full harvester which is really good of course let's uh, make sure that the harvester is empty before we put it back on the farm and as said before um, corn is about 50% of the effectiveness and the effectiveness is needed I think for the productivity and that's something we will see once we have provided all the food and the water and, and so on at some point depending on how well they are provided with everything food and water and so on they will start reproducing and in the end they will like that provide us some return on money because we can of course sell these extra pigs the second thing which they do is produce manure and slurry which uh, i think both can be used to fertilize fields i'm not entirely sure if there's a difference between the two or that it's just one big pile of mess that we will see popping up next to the pigs um, so we have to get a manure wagon in the future as well that allows us to basically fertilize the fields instead of using the artificial ones so I grabbed the John Deere hooked up the water trailer and I went over to the location where we can find the water we will have to see how much water the pigs will actually take and it's let's yeah let's see I'm not entirely sure so I have to find a spot where the water can be dropped off okay so it seems to be this one here which is actually really short by and I'm not really that good in reversing these types so let's drop off the water have a look at the animals as well once that's finished okay and it seems they took all so let's head back to the water and fill them up completely so in the end apparently they took 20k water which is actually a lot so two and a half trailers yeah I'm really glad we we had this already sorted so the next thing we will do is check our storage levels we currently have about 8k of everything a bit more on the soybeans yeah so we can make sure that they have most of them so let us hook up the trailer which still has the um, wheat from the field so we will check that in a second still has 20k wheat from this field which is really good We still have some wheat in the silo as well which we can pick up so I might as well just add that to the trailer hopefully I can uh, get out of the farm well without bumping into anything and I just bumped into it again <laughs> Okay, let's take a right here. And a right again. Pause by the field where we took uh, the grass off the last time. We still have some grass left here, so we need to pick that up at some point as well. and here we can see our second farm on the left ok 
Okay, so I think there is an entry here. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's drive back a bit. Turn in. Okay. We need to open the cover as well. Start filling. I'm really looking forward to how much this will fill up their feeding level on the wheat part. And I just bumped into a tree. I think it's over here. Let's check. Yeah, it is. So wheat is at the back there. So that's everything in there. And it's not even half, it's like 30%. Okay. So they will need a lot of everything. Let's hope they at least uh, last a few days because I don't have uh, sufficient fields to keep up with that amount. Let's drive back to the silo and take the next thing. Okay, let's do canola. We can keep the barley for now so we have some spare when we actually need to feed them more wheat or barley. That's fine if we can give the canola now. We have two parts of the food already sorted. And I think we have some corn as well which we can also give. So that leaves of the 5% of the potatoes and the sugar beet which I'm not entirely sure if we have that. Okay, so let's deliver the canola. Just by driving the truck around to pick up the harvest from the field and now delivering the food to the pigs and to the horses and the sheep, of course, we already have 0 0.3 hours on the truck. Okay, so let's take the corn. We don't have much, so I'm really hoping they last at least a few days. That would give us at least one, maybe two more harvests with the normal header. Then we can return that equipment and we can consider getting a corn header. Our animals are doing really great. Only the pigs need to be sorted, of course. So we only have 8.2k corn. That's not a lot. I really hope they lost at least two in-game days. Uh, we may even need to consider buying some pig food. Or dropping the effectiveness, of course. Okay, so the trailer is empty, but not empty. <laughs> uh, it leaves a bit of uh, dust or whatever. Okay, so let us check on the animals again. Sugar, beet and potatoes left. Let's check the silo. Uh, where is it? We don't have any. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we can do a mission or something if there is one. That's wheat. Which we have sufficient of um, anything else here. That's canola. Okay, so there's no mission we can do for that now. Maybe later on we, we have a chance to pick one up. So the only thing we have left now is straw and sugar beet. Straw is something we can fix. So we need the challenger, which still has cross in it. Okay. 
So, yeah, let's go and sell it. I'll bring you guys back soon. I'll uh, skip this part. What is on the sign? Narrow bridge. Yeah, I don't think you need to try and cross a harvester here. So this will be the thumbnail of the episode. <laughs> I still have sufficient space to maneuver around. With some small equipment we could maybe even try to turn on the bridge itself. So we are about to sell our grass. We have currently about 36k. I'm really wondering how much this will deliver us. Okay, so let's move back a bit and start unloading. Okay, the money is going up decently good. Okay, so 4.9k harvest income. That's not too bad, not too bad. I'm glad we did that. Okay, so I'm going to put in a small time lapse again where we pick up the straw and I will get back to you once everything is done. So we are back over at the pigs. I'm looking at the silo and apparently we can store grass, hay and straw. So I didn't have to sell the grass before, unfortunately. I may have wasted some money. So let's try to find the unloading point. I'm... Uh... Should I store it for now? Now let's just deliver it to the pigs for now and then see what uh, what it does, how much they need. Okay, they are taking lots. Oh, and it stopped <laughs> just as I said it. Um, let's check. So they took about 30k. Okay. So we have potatoes and sugar beet left, which is only 5% of the effectiveness. And our sheep and horses are, of course, doing fine. Okay. Hmm. Let's put the leftover straw back in the silo instead of selling it. And I will grab the rest and put it also in the silo.
Okay, so this is the second delivery. And once that's finished, we will have a look in the silo how much we actually have. So you can see it going up now. And it stopped 54k liters of straw. That's not too bad. So in the end we had uh, 54k liters of straw plus the additional 30k which we provided to the pig. So the field provided us with 84k liters of straw which is really good. So yeah, this will wrap up this episode. So to, to go over a recap of everything, we started off with a lot of money, uh, 350k something. We spent 160 I think on the pigs. We bought field one next to our farm, which we of course harvested in this episode, which was another 117 I think. We gained a bit of profit from selling the grass which was only about 5k, but anyway, money is money. So this will wrap up this episode for leaving us with 79k. We have made some really good progress on the farm already. We made sure that we have horses in place with all the food they need. We also made sure that the sheep are ready. They don't need a lot, so that's easy to maintain. We just need to get a uh, front loader with the pallet fork to make sure we can sell the wool that it provides. And this episode we handled the pigs. So yeah, the farm is really looking good. I hope you all really enjoyed it. I did, certainly. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment in the section below. Tell me what you would like to see in the future videos and we will try to make it happen. Anyway, see you next time guys. Bye bye.